the first semester of the last academic year was fully online and i was teaching topics in real analysis which is a fundamental course in mathematics it's actually a core course which is must for every incoming batch of msc students and it deals with very many fundamental concepts in mathematical analysis for example the axiomatic development of real and complex number systems topology of the real line then sequences and series various tests for conversions the notion of continuity and derivatives riemann stages integrals etc etc so these topics being so fundamental are bound to have applications in various areas of mathematics such as differential equations number theory etc and outside of mathematics in physics and other engineering sciences so i had taught this course twice before but this one was a unique uh, uh one because i was going to teach this course fully online and not just for the first few lectures or something but for the whole full semester so, so i was quite apprehensive in the beginning as to how it would turn out to be however it went very nice i was happy with the outcome so i carefully planned the course contents and keeping in mind that the students are remotely joining how to make them engaged was a big thing and to work it out i decided that i would actually have certain concepts initially introduced informally so that people get uh, a better idea and then they appreciate it by means of some examples for example um the notion of generating function of a sequence so i used to give this example for before defining it formally and the way that i did was so if you have a cloth which is a uh, put through a hanger on the rod of your cupboard and you have several such clothes and now if you want to take those clothes from one place to another the the 2d force way would be to start uh, taking one hanger by itself and then put it from one place to another or you could just move the rod from one place to the other and with the hangers there are all of the clothes attached to that rod so when you move the rod from one place to another of course all of the clothes are bound to come so in other words the generating function encapsulates the information about all coefficients uh, of it or all of the elements of the sequence are being taken into consideration when you have the generating function concept so this was quite appreciated by the students another thing that i really tried to do was to introduce mathematical anecdotes from time to time and also gave examples of inspiring incidents in the lives of various mathematicians so that students develop interest before they see the actual material so it all went fine i was happy with how it uh, came out to be so apart from carefully designing the course contents i also used ipad and the software called good notes and it's really as the name suggests it's really a very uh, nice software which allows you to make very good notes of your uh, for your course so it has the various features of highlighting the content if you want to emphasize something or also uh, you can use different colors to further understand uh, explain the nuances in a complicated concept let's say so this all worked very fine as far as the assessment of the students is concerned i used three different modes of evaluation so one was the quizzes uh, which were held through the google forms and so it was fully online then the next one was the midsem where i used um, a descriptive exam i had given them a descriptive exam online and the students uh, had to really show me that they have understood the notion of proof of writing a mathematical proof So that was the uh, reason why I introduced the subjective exam in the midsem, and in the endsem, it was one-on-one -on -one interview with all of the 41 students that were registered in my class, so that I can actually see firsthand whether they have understood the concept really well. So these three modes of evaluation actually gave us a complete picture as to whether a student really understood uh, what is being taught in the class or not. regarding the feedback i think the feedback was quite positive because the evaluations uh, were nice and uh, i found out that students really appreciated the material 
and uh, it was heartening to see them appreciate this uh, considering the fact that they were fully online joining uh, each and every lecture so at the end i would say that the experience of teaching this course was really very nice uh, i also felt quite confident in the future semesters to teach the courses fully online as it happened for the next semester and this semester also and uh, the notes are available for anyone here at IIT Gandhinagar. They can go on the course website and they'll find all the details, all of the lectures, as well as the video links, which were immediately appreciate. Uh, I mean, immediately uploaded once uh, the lecture was over. So this was another thing that the students liked, that the lecture was completely uh, put online just five or ten minutes after the class, and the reason being this. Uh, there might be a problem of internet connection and some may not be able to join at all. So they could just go back uh, to the course website, download the lectures and then uh, listen to it at leisure. So this was appreciated and uh, these notes are still there for anyone. The video lectures are also there for anyone here at IIT Gandhinagar. Of course, they'll also be useful for me when I teach the same course again in the future.